so let's talk about piano this is how piano sounds without any effects studio grant addictive keys piano very good piano but i wanted to add this additional effect and it sounds like this now this alien voices were created very pretty much uh, easy so I sent a piano to some special effects and let us let me show you how it works so first you add distortion just a thing finisher micro distortion you need, don't need to overdo it, you just need to add some character to this. And you could use default plugins. Then you add Destructor with a filter. I use just... See this effect like Vogel. Then I add Simple Gate to all this. And we already have this shifting alien voices stuff. And then just to be sure that I'm not adding stereo into the middle and into the low end of this track, I add this vitamin stereo from audio waves. With huge stereo separation here and uh, no stereo separation in the middle and in the low end. So that's it. And the piano, this pad goes to reverb channel, to dry channel, and also to special effects, effects channel. That's it. That's how I created this additional texture. And if you press the button here, you'll see that it follows your pattern. So you don't need to worry about forgetting notes when you change the piano pattern. This is just automation line for um, this fader of this channel. That's it. I... So talking about the bass, it has something that is pumping the sound, but I don't want to make it too much like this. I want to make it just a little bit. So automation line of this knob is all that happens here. This automation line is kind of a side chain for the bass not to start with together with drums. And that's it. That's it for the bass. I made it of two instruments. First is flex. Flex. Uh, the other instrument is a beatmaker 808 light. So that's it. The next thing is brass. I made this brass uh, melody from two instruments. First is Spitfire Audio Symphony Orchestra BBC Core Edition and full orchestra made by Orchestral Tools. Hear how it sounds without modulation wheel. And here, if we add expression, you can hear that mainly brass sounds and it adds something to our brass uh, instruments. It has some distortion, some kind of violins, some kind of orchestra, uh, some kind of woodwinds, uh, frequencies. Uh, it adds something to our brass without making it too dirty as I would do with distortion, with saturation or with EQ plugins. But there's one tricky part. So this is how brass sounds.
there is nothing difficult here but there's a tricky part here when drums start to play in the reference track as you can hear right now they add a lot of dust and it kind of glues at least i feel it this way to the trombones and the trombones sound a little bit more dirty a little bit more i would say grungy it adds some texture so I tried to do it with just a noise plugin and it sounds like this now of course I added this noise to the drums I tried to copy this emotion that it kind of sounds all together if it makes any sense for you uh, so the next pad I made with much more simple instrument that is called flex it's just some kind of effect that adds something to our mix and uh, together with other drums it sound like this well that's it Pretty much that's that's it. Uh, so if you have drum libraries like this one, Copernicus Percussion, uh, made by Orchestral Tools, and Percussion from the Berlin Orchestra Inspire One, another drums I didn't try to recreate the drums that Tom Salter used uh, because probably he has professional good uh, plugin for those drums which are recorded in approximately the same atmosphere i would say and if you use it it's not just like you're using a bunch of random one shots but there is one trick with one shot instruments and in fell studio you can probably in other programs also you can animate the pitch and with this pi pitch you can imitate that you have different snares for instance it sounds like this without uh, pitch animation like the same and if you drag it just a little bit it gives you absolutely another feeling of like you have several drums like something happens there, the pitch changes and they don't sound absolutely the same. In final mix it sounds like this. So you don't try to understand and try to realize how many one-shot samples here, you just listen to the drums. And uh, let's try this trick with just uh, one-shot samples. So using this trick, having only one-shot samples, you can turn this sound into this so it brings you a variation to the pitch and that's it it's all that happens here nothing nothing so important and uh, so basically that's it i think in this video you could see how you can create special effects from side chaining the piano for instance and creating gate distortion and uh, destructor with a uh, vowel filter which creates a really interesting alien language pattern and uh, that's it so 
this is how you can recreate in FL Studio with not so very expensive plugins, by the way. Uh, a lot of stuff like That's it.